From going back to the Stone Age, to high-flying islands in the sky, to a genre-bending Pokemon-like survival crafting game, we have a lot to look forward to in the open-world survival crafting genre. What's up, guys? Spartan85 here. Wanted to bring you a list of some of the best-looking open-world survival crafting games coming up. And you know what's great about these is a lot of these are coming to consoles, which I know consoles don't get the same love as PCs when it comes to uh, survival games. And if you are into the survival crafting genre, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. I play a lot of survival games on there, mainly Seven Days to Die, but I do try to change it up a lot and play other survival games. So be sure to check out my channel, subscribe if you're interested. All right, let's uh, cut the intro and let's uh, check out what the future holds for survival games. First up and releasing right around the corner, January 2024, is Pal World. Described as a Pokemon-like shooter survival game, Pal World puts you in the world where you fight, farm, build, and work alongside mysterious creatures called Pals in this completely new multiplayer open world survival and crafting game. Now, Pals can be used to fight or they can be made to work on farms or factories. You can even sell them or eat them. It's kind of kind of cruel. The environment is harsh, food is scarce, and vicious poachers roam. To survive, you must tread carefully and make difficult choices, even if that means eating your own pals when the time comes. The game is set to release, like I said, in January 24 on PCs and current gen consoles. Did someone say they wanted a combination of the Long Dark and Green Hell made into a video game? Well, we might have it right here, guys. Uh, what was supposed to be a nice winter hike in the Mount Washington State Park with friends turned into a dire situation. You are left alone to fight for your survival. With only marginal supplies, you have to fight off your cold, your thirst, hunger, wildlife, and your own state of mind while finding your way to an abandoned ranger station where you hoped to be able to call for help. Winter Survival features a dynamic combat system, stealth, base building, and a unique sanity system, just to name a few. Multiple game modes and difficulties allow you to experience the game differently and tailor it to your taste. Now honestly, this game gives me major Green Hell vibes. Just, you know, it's not in the jungle and you don't get murdered by Jaguars every five minutes. There is currently a demo available on Steam called Winter Survival Prologue. The game is planned to release on Steam on February 24th of 2024, and then hopefully consoles in the future is what the devs have said. Honeycomb The World Beyond is a survival sandbox game set on an exuberant planet called Soda 7. Explore its vast world and face challenges on your bioengineering journey. You can crossbreed plants or animals, gather resources, craft items, and conduct experiments in order to develop new species. It has been compared to another survival sim, Subnautica, but well, of course, uh, it's on land and you're not suffocating, you know, 24 seven. You'll search various biomes for resources, build solar powered habitats on stilts with nice wide windows and gradually amass a database of local animals and plants. Like I said, it's been compared to Subnautica, but it also has a little Planet Crafter vibe to it. So maybe Subnautica meets Planet Crafter and they have a baby, I don't know. Uh, it's set to release in quarter three of 2024 to PC and consoles. So look forward to that, guys. Initiated. Aloft is a sandbox survival game where you must survive on islands floating around in eternal hurricane at the center of the map. Build your base and sail the winds to discover new islands and find new resources, technologies, and equipment upgrades while fighting back fungi corruption. So maybe there's like fungi mobs, maybe? Like the mob, like 
Like, hey man, how you doing? You know somebody. Like that kind of fun guy, you know? I don't know. Learn more about your origins as you, <laughs> as you uncover secrets from the ruins of a civilization long gone. And find the answers to the demise by reaching the highest altitudes and braving the challenges of the hurricane. Now, the demo is currently playable on Steam, so you can go check that out right now. And they're hoping to have a full release in 2024. And then also consoles shortly thereafter is what the devs have posted. Build the ultimate Viking settlement and survive with your villagers. Land your ship in a foreign, ever-changing realm and make it your own and discover its secret. In Aska, you strive to build a self-sustaining Viking tribe. Working, crafting, sailing, hunting, fighting, and my gosh, anything else? <laughs> Command and organize your villagers from a third-person perspective. Work and fight alongside them, tending to their every need. Play cooperative with up to four of your friends. Uh, if you have any. The fire. So, <laughs> just kidding, that's just me, guys. I have no friends. So sort of like Medieval Dynasty meets Valheim, which sounds like an absolute blast. There is a demo currently available on Steam right now, and it's set to release sometime soon. Only on PCs from what I can see right now. No console release date, but hopefully that changes. Project Castaway is a survival crafting title set in the Pacific Ocean. Live the life of a stranded castaway with only yourself and the island's inhabitants for company. Sail the ocean, hunt, explore unique islands, and gather resources as you fight for survival. Now the game features hunger, thirst, and body temperature mechanics. Also raft building, online co-op multiplayer, food cooking, day and night cycle, hunting, crafting, and base building. So it kind of sounds like Sunken Lands and Stranded Deep has a stepchild together, but it has a ton of potential from what I can tell. No word on releasing to consoles, but it is listed as coming soon for PC. Solar Punk is a first-person, cozy survival game in a technically advanced world of floating islands. Alone or together with your friends, you can construct buildings, grow food, craft gadgets, and explore distant islands with your own airship. Use sunlight, wind, and water to create an energy system and automate your processes like gathering resources and watering your plants to build your own dream home in the sky. The game features an online multiplayer of building, farming, crafting, energy production, and building an airship. So the game started on Kickstarter and the campaign got fully funded already. And it looks like the devs have been posting monthly updates and hopefully will be able to release soon. The game is slated to release on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and Nintendo Switch, which there you go. There's some love for the Nintendo right there. They've also hinted on Twitter about releasing on Xbox Game Pass.
Now I want to preface this next one by saying there has been no update to the development of the game for almost five months, but man does this game look cool. I wanted to include it because one of my favorite games of all time is Far Cry Primal, and this really gives me the vibe of that with more of a hardcore survival feel. Fight, conquer, and dominate. An open world full of traps and unexpected events, breathtaking views, dynamic changes in weather conditions, deadly beasts, and hostile tribes all daring you to survive if you can. Climb the ranks of a group of hunters. Learn to communicate, get resources, and create items that will help you in many activities, such as fighting, sheltering, healing, cooking, or creating new clothes, thanks to which you will be able to discover new diverse territories. From warm, green, lively areas, to misty wetlands, to the land of mountains and ice. Take care of both your mental development and condition. Use it with a deadly arsenal and don't get killed. All we have right now is release date to be announced on PC with no word on consoles yet. Now, the minute I saw this trailer a few months back, I immediately added the game to my wish list. Anytime there's a mysterious story involved with a survival crafting game, old Spartan gets excited. Wolf Ridge is a stunning, asymmetrical survival game developed with the community feedback at every corner. You and up to seven other players will enter the Pitcherex Mountain of Wolf Ridge, only to be hunted relentlessly by mutants. You must fight tooth and nail to escape into the evacuation helicopter and make it back home. You will play on a stunning handcrafted 16 square mile map loaded with unique locations such as cabins, airplanes, watchtowers, and other POIs loaded with mysteries abound. The AI was built from the ground up and the devs are trying to add as many AI mutants as possible. I for one am pretty excited about getting my hands on this one. No word on consoles and we are still waiting on a release date for PCs. Dive into a unique adventure that will put you against a world ruled by natural forces. Explore, craft, battle predators, tame animals, build homes, harvest crops, and so much more. Gather your friends, grab a weapon, and head out to conquer the wildlands. Now this game features a huge map with 14 different biomes. Honestly, I didn't know there was actually 14 biomes that could be in a game. <laughs> I have no idea. Also featured is an RPG style skill progression system, crafting, building, farming, taming, hunting, multiplayer co-op, and still more planned. Sort of sounds like a more hardcore style medieval dynasty, possibly. Releasing sometime in 2024 for PCs, and I tried finding info on about consoles for this game on the interwebs, but everything comes back to Tom Clancy's Wildlands, so I got nothing, guys. Now, I wanted to throw one more game up as kind of an honorable mention, and I've included this in another top 10 list before, but I, I just, I'm so excited about it, but there's been no info put out about this game for almost an entire year, so it might be dead. But it looks and sounds really cool. It's single or multiplayer open world survival adventure game where you and three friends are offered a week long remote camping trip. You quickly discover that you are not where you think you are. You must find a way out. And honestly, that's about all the information I have right now in this game. Um, I've looked and looked but that's all i have i really hope the devs come back to it or maybe they're just one of those devs that doesn't post updates very well so anyway gold river project releasing hopefully on pcs soon <laughs> 